Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Haley Wilcox, and I will be pleased to be opening this ceremony, congratulating my fellow class in completing our final year in the Advanced Technology Center's Education and Training Program. First, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge and applaud our loved ones who have supported us throughout this entire process. Let's applaud them now. We are so blessed to have such motivational and loving people behind us. Speaking of people who care about our education ever so deeply, it is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Borland, our principal. Would you like to say a few words? Yes. <laughs> on the word few. <laughs> I think it was. So um, I am Marcus Borland, the principal here at the ATC, and this is an exciting day for us because uh, we're in the education business. That's what we do. We're excited about uh, being in education and we love what we do every day. So this particular uh, coursework here is near and dear to our hearts because you guys are looking at coming into education in the field that we love and that we love to promote. So it's an exciting day, so parents, uh, this should be exciting for you because the education field uh, is an amazing place to be. Uh, every day that I come to work, I have a good time and enjoy being around students. Uh, and I think the students would agree that it's an environment that is like that. So for them to be able to learn that and be able to go one day into the classroom uh, is very, very exciting. So uh, getting to be around them and that energy is fantastic. You know, I get to hire teachers all the time and we look for teachers that have energy and excitement about education the way you guys do when I interact with you and I see you in the halls and we talk and we, we, we can be passionate about the same thing. So that's very exciting uh, for me to have an opportunity to be part of that journey with you and just for me as a spectator, for uh, Ms. McDonald, she gets to work with you every day which I admire her position for that. So uh, you have a uh, a great place that you're in right now. Parents, be very, very proud of these students that, that are in this uh, niche that they found that, that something is a talent for them. Uh, and we need, absolutely need, more and more and more teachers uh, in this industry that are excited about coming to work every single day and working with kids. So I appreciate uh, your support of your student through that. And uh, thank you, Ms. McDonald, for all that you do uh, with our kiddos here. Thank you. and throughout the next hour, we will have presenters come to explain their unique contribution to our program, and then the second year students will introduce themselves and receive their awards. First, I would like to introduce Deputy Superintendent of the Denton Independent School District, Dr. Valenta. We are so delighted to have you here with us today. We are especially grateful for your encouragement and support with a long-anticipated letter. We would like to show our gratitude by presenting you a pin that says leaders, for you have definitely helped us through your leadership. Thank you so much. Dr. Valenta, would you like to say a few words? Oh, yes. <laughs> so much. I've been waiting 35 years for someone to give me something that says leader on there. <laughs> there it is, right? leader, so that's a, I, uh, first of all, I want to thank Mrs. McDonald for putting this together. This is really great. And for Mr. Borland to allow us to do this. We, I remember when I offered Mr. Borland the job to be the principal out here. It was a little bit of a sales job, but he, uh, he is absolutely fantastic. And we are so fortunate to to have him here at Denton, Denton ISD. I also want to thank the parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, spouses, nieces, cousins, whomever here, because um, it's so critically important that uh, that our students are supported at home. And um, it's um, it's kind of like the old thing that you can you can lead a horse to water, but but you can't make them drink. And really, our job here in education is really very simple. 
we, we create a climate, a culture, where our students want to learn and want to grow. And when that's reinforced at home, then it just makes our job so much easier. Before I go, before you, before, you know, really your, your attention span, all of our attention spans probably be about five minutes. So I want to get right to it. And let me get right to it by saying that um, if these students that work so hard, if, if they go to school, if they get their degree, and they pass through our filters that we have here at Denton, they will have a 50 plus thousand job a year waiting for them. And I, I, want, I, I want that to be somewhat of a carrot, but I know that it's more than just a carrot. Uh, teaching is more than compensation, and you'll find that out very quickly. Uh, because if you're interested in compensation, then, then you're probably not going in the right field. But I say that kind of kind of cheap because there are positions other than teaching as well. Counseling, assistant principal, principal, central office jobs. There are jobs. There, your, your career is not just limited to being a teacher. We, we, we want to develop you as the whole educator to be able to have an impact and affect children at, in all different capacities. But what I think you're most interested in is what opportunities will you have at Denton? You, you will be, I don't know if you've ever gone to Disney World and gotten the Fast Pass, where you, you, go and, you go and have fun and do those things, but you always have that Fast Pass in your back pocket so that when it gets close to time to get on that ride, then you just simply walk through. And that's what we want to do here. Uh, we, we will never be able to reflect the diversity and the talent that we need in the classroom by merely recruiting. It just won't happen. It doesn't happen that way anymore. Um, we have the, the way in which we recruit now is so different than when I started. Um, it's about marketing now. It's it's about selling, teaching. And one of the things that I did earlier uh, or last semester is I went around to every campus when we started this program called Teach Didn't because it's really like three phases. The first phase is to identify teachers as early as kindergarten. Uh, the second phase is really this group of folks right here that we uh, that, that want to be teachers and we already know that. The third phase are those that are already in school that are already in college, that, that, that went through Denton, that we want them to come back. Um, but, but, but the only way that we're going to be able to reflect the diversity of talent that we need in the classroom is to start as early as kindergarten. It's kind of like being a Christmas tree farmer. You know that when you plant, plant that Christmas tree, it's going to be probably seven years out before you can enjoy that first crop. And that's really what we're trying to do here. But when I traveled around the district, I really asked our teachers, those people that taught you, I asked them three questions, and the first question was, why did you want to become a teacher? And, and really what we listen for and what we want to hear is uh, not that you just love kids, because that's not enough. It, it really isn't. Loving kids is not enough. You've got to want to make a difference in their lives. You've got to want to affect them. And, th and that's why I envy you, because I don't get to do that anymore. But each and every one of you will be able to do that. You, you will affect the lives of so many children that will be so grateful for what you do for them, and, and you may never know it. It's like planting trees that provide shade, and you never get to sit underneath the shade. But, but that's the great thing about, about teaching. You will get those carrots, you will get those nuggets when people will... will, will you, my, wife still, my wife has taught for 35 years. She'll tell me, hey, I got this student I had 20 years ago on f Facebook recognize me, saying that how much uh, of a difference she made in their lives. You can't, that's incalculable. You, you cannot put a price tag on that. That's changing people's lives. The second question I asked them is, do you believe what you do is more important than anything else you could do? And of course, as teachers, they say, yeah, we do. What we do each and every day is more important than anything else we can do. But the third question is what I want you to remember, and I want you to burn it into your mind. And then as I ask teachers, how do you communicate what you do every day to the people you run into in the grocery store, to the people at church, to your neighbors, and more important, those people you stand in front of, your students every day. How do you communicate what you do? There's no other profession that gets to stand in front of potential employees every day and talk about how wonderful it is to be a teacher. Engineers don't get to do it. Lawyers don't. They do on career day in the eighth grade when the fireman comes in, talks about how they roll the ladder out. or roll, But that's it. You will have that opportunity to market this profession every day. Every day. And I hope you will do that. I hope you will always be enthusiastic about your job. Because when you're enthusiastic about what you do, then you're engaged in what you do. 
And I'm telling you, you can ask your parents. Uh, and my dad told me this a long time ago. He said, Richard, once you start working, you're going to be working the rest of your life. So you better pick something that you're going to have an opportunity to fill other people's buckets. Because if you don't, it's going to be pretty miserable. Your, your life is not going to be as enjoyable as it possibly can be. So I know I've taken way much more time, but I, I told Dr. Stewart, I'm going to talk longer than more on this time. <laughs> I'm going to figure out a way to talk longer than more, and I think I have. So I'm, congratulations. Uh, again, let me repeat, you do what it takes. You go, you get your degree. You go through the process, you do your student teaching, you go through our filters, and you will have a job. You will be that fast pass. You will be pushed to the front of the line, and you will have an opportunity to teach where you talk and make a difference in the lives of children each and every day. And uh, I congratulate you for that and, and this opportunity that you have. Thank you so much, Dr. Valenta. Next, I would like to call forward Dr. Robert Stewart. He is the Assistant Superintendent of the Human Resources Operations in charge of high school professional support staff and staff. Dr. Stewart is, is instrumental in helping Denton Independent School District be the best possible. He helps hire teachers for the district and he is in charge of the substitute and employee assistance programs. So remember that in four years. <laughs> We would like to award the leader pin to you as well for all of your help and support. <laughs> Dr. Stewart, would you like to say a few words? Very good. <laughs> I will be brief. Uh, thank you for this award, first of all. And congratulations to all the teachers and to family members that are here at Trans. But I'd like to say I'll be very brief. Uh, because Dr. Valente took all the time. So I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm trying not to duplicate anything he said. So I am the person that will make that job offer, or my staff will. And so you, I really want to get to know you. Um, I can't think of a more noble profession than teaching. I wouldn't be here today if I didn't believe that. That's where I came from. I started where you started. It's a great opportunity. It's a great time in your lives. I hope you will build on that process. And I hope to be calling you to make that job offer. I do want you to teach your indent to give us first choice. Please do that, and we'll make it happen for you. But congratulations, I won't take a whole lot of your time uh, uh, for this moment in your lives. And I look forward to hearing from you all at some point uh, with a 50,000 plus job offer, even more. Who knows? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe about 60. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to shoot for seven. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for this opportunity. And welcome again. Congratulations on what you've done. It's a great opportunity. But the best is yet to come. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Stewart. <laughs> Next, I would like to introduce David Poff, the chairman of Teach Denton. We have greatly appreciated you coming into our classrooms to help guide and encourage us. Without you, and especially the Teach Denton program, we wouldn't have this amazing opportunity to work for the district who taught us everything we know. Thank you, and to show our thanks, we would like to present the leader pin to you as well. <laughs> Mr. Bach, please again let us hear your words of wisdom. Words of wisdom, okay. Thank you. Chairman, I, I like that title, Dr. <laughs> you know, didn't know I was a chairman, but I like that. I like it a lot. For today. For today. For today. For today. Chairman for today. Three things, and I'll get out of the way. I got to first thank Ms. McDonald for everything you've done in helping us with our vision of putting this Teach Denton together. Without you, this would have gone nowhere, Ms. McDonald. And so, uh, you know, we may be looking to the future of getting you to come back and share your ideas with this group because, again, it wouldn't have gone anywhere without you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kids, I've gotten to know your kids over the last couple of years through panel discussions with, with Dr. Stewart, coming to do presentations, watching them do presentations at Open House here. And so I've gotten to know this group of kids. And I've told Dr. Belinda, we can hire all of them. We can hire each and every one of them. Uh, I know that by spending time with you. 
You're doing this for the right reasons. And the thing I want you guys to remember is we're looking for kids like you to come back and teach kids like you. And it's that simple. It's that simple. And that's what we're looking for. So we need you to come back and teach kids just like you. Okay? Third and last, parents. We're going to enlist you to help. Dr. Glenna, Dr. Stewart, Perkins, all the folks that work in HR, we've seen through the years that hurdles prevent a lot of good teachers from becoming teachers. And those, those hurdles are numerous. Sometimes it's money. Sometimes it's a family situation. Sometimes it's a, an illness. Sometimes it's, it, it can be a lot of things. But don't let one hurdle keep you from becoming what you want to be, a teacher. I don't know what the magic number is. If there's two hurdles, jump two. If there's three, jump three. Jump as many as you can. You know, I hope there won't be too many for you. And we're going to keep track of you, and hopefully along the way, maybe there's some other things we can do for you as, as we go along. But the neatest thing is, if you can overcome all those obstacles and those hurdles that are going to happen, this man's waiting at the end of the line today with a certificate for you that says you're going to become a teacher in Denton ISD. That's for you. Okay? So don't let the hurdles stop you, okay? Mr. Bach for those inspiring words. Next, I would like to welcome Dr. Anderson. She is the Associate of Texas Women's University, Associate Professor and Coordinator of Curriculum and Instruction Program Department of Teacher Education. This terrific woman helps us plan our field trips to see actual college classrooms and the virtual teaching lab at Texas Women's University. We would like to present the leader pin to you for all of your support. Thank you all very much for having me here today and again, you know, Mrs. McDonald has just been a real true ambassador for you all and for the community in working with us to provide a, a wonderful partnership um, and um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about that and to thank you all for being such uh, true partners, this has really been a two-way, a two-way agreement here. Um, this need arose from the students. They brought this forward as something they thought that would really benefit them. It was just really serendipitous that it was coming along at a time when Dr. Valenta and others, including those of us at TWU, were thinking about how to strengthen our community and how to have excellent teachers returning back to Denton. And so this was all, it all came together really, really well. Um, so what this partnership or this uh, course waiver as it turns out to be, um, how this came about was um, the idea that, that several of you, after we've been working together for several years and, and we've been coming to visit you and you've been coming to visit us, um, to learn about one of your options here in Denton to continue your, your teacher preparation. Um, just through conversations, the idea came about, well, you all are involved in an excellent two-year program. And through that program, you're learning how to write lesson plans, you're learning how to professionally communicate, you're out in the field conducting uh, field hours, and in comparison to some things that we also start off our teacher prep students doing, you really compared. You compared so much so that we decided if you successfully complete your program, you get to waive the very first education course at TWU. So that's time savings, that's cost savings, and that really um, bridges you from your education and training program to that purpose and that calling and that need that, that Dr. Valenta is talking about. In fact, the last sentence of our TWU mission is a TWU education ignites potential, purpose, and a pioneering spirit. So that potential, you've demonstrated. You've demonstrated by your um, excellent participation and completion of this program. 
your purpose is exactly what Dr. Valenta described and our other colleagues. It's what you've been investigating um, within yourself, that you have a calling to become a teacher, that it is more than a job, it's more than a paycheck, it's uh, to serve a need, it's who you are, it's part of your identity. And then that pioneering spirit is what's going to set you apart. We believe that you will complete our program at TWU being not only well prepared to enter a classroom, but to be a leader in your profession, to be creative, to be innovative, to be someone who is striking out and, and creating new developments in our field. That's what we are about at TWU. So we are excited to continue this, this partnership and the certificate I'm going to pass out to you today signifies and commemorates this agreement. And what all you need to do is when you are ready to, to come to TWU is you, you can hang on to the certificate, but we'll really also want to see your high school transcript uh, to make sure that you have indeed successfully completed your education and training program. You will um, self-identify with one of our orientation <coughs> staff members. We have lots of orientations throughout the year, and I know some of you are, have already been participating and you've been admitted and accepted. That's wonderful. So just self-identify with your transcript, and we will waive that course from the degree plan. Okay? So we're excited. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Anderson. Last but certainly not least, I would like to introduce a woman near and dear to our hearts. Without her hard work, expertise, and dedication to us and this program, none of this would be possible. Ladies and gentlemen, the woman who brought us all here today, our teacher, Mrs. McDonald. So I want to start out with bragging about this class. So, um, other than the waiver and the certificate, we are very much involved in the community. We've helped uh, our different schools here. We've spoken to the family and consumer science classrooms, helped at the middle school fair, done some uh, carnivals, Lee Parent Literary Night, uh, Wilson Parent Night, Special Ed Parent Night. Uh, we've surveyed interns, former interns, fieldside teachers, done a little bit of everything. You know that that's, that's teaching. It's a little bit of everything, right? It's a dab here and a dab there, a lot of info. So we wanted to start a tradition also, and so we want to honor our favorite teachers, and we've done that this year. We've talked about favorite teachers. We've talked about um, how we can write about them, how we can write thank you notes to them, and we have done some of this. We have interviewed our favorite teachers. Um, because we know that they inspired us. They're the one, one of the reasons why they're here. You know, uh, I can remember uh, favorite teachers. My grandmother was a teacher at 16. You know, one of those uh, normal school people that you just go get a degree and you teach. Uh, guys that are taller than you are, you know. Uh, so we just know that there's a whole lot to that. So we're going to start a tradition with our seniors in this class is my favorite, you are my favorite teacher. And wouldn't you love to receive um, an, uh, or give a memorial like that to someone? My favorite teacher, you are my favorite teacher. Although I've had a lot, right? Because we've got a lot in high school. So we're going to start things like that because we know that that's such an important part of our lives. Um, so let me uh, change it the subject a little bit, why do we start with this leader pen? So when I look at your faces, those of our students, as they wave to me, and I get a big kick out of the, the you know, the six-year-old that says, hi, Ms. McDonald, and I'm thinking, they remember me because of food, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, as I see you, I see former students. I even see a former student in here today. I go to the elementary schools. I see former interns. They are now teaching. So I just know that I want, we wanted to honor that, that aspect of leadership. 
So whether you realize it or not, you have become a leader, and that's the certificate that I'm handing you today. As a leader guides, conducts, governs, influences, exercises, dominion, but always within the realm of another. According to Noah Webster in his 1828 dictionary, that's what he says. Guide, conduct, train. And uh, a contemporary of his, John Quincy Adams, said, if your actions inspire others to dream, <coughs> do more, and become more, you are a leader. So you pat yourself in the back. Pat yourself in the back. So uh, your actions inspire others to dream, do more, and become more, you are a leader. So think of the many who have gone before you, you know, your teachers, your favorite teachers. You might think of uh, famous people like Maria Montessori. Um, but I'd like to even think further back, in my case, is Jesus, who is the master teacher. And he told us we need to be servant t uh, leaders. So teaching, whether influencing, guiding, or controlling an exciting classroom prior to a holiday. Right? Or after a holiday, especially if it's Halloween, you know you need that pat on the back. Because that, that was a day. That was a day you'll remember. So, when you wear the pin, know that others have paved the way, as an example. That others are counting on you. That others are watching you. Teacher means leader. And you have stepped gently into that realm. And so that's the story behind the pin. And so... Thank you for letting me brag on you. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. McDonald. Now that we have heard from our supporters, each intern will tell us a little bit about themselves, and Dr. Valenta, Dr. Anderson, and Mrs. McDonald will hand out awards, letters, and certificates. Hello, I am Rajay Pratt. 
packet, I'll be graduating from Billy Ryan High School in June. <laughs> <laughs> and I am headed to Prairie Land A&M to begin my journey to be a first grade teacher. I will be graduating from Denton High School and I will be going to 
going to still be here to hopefully be a second grade teacher.
if we could give this person a round of applause for Diana Edwards. Thank you guys for coming. 